Welcome to this remote control quick tip. This quick tip is for those subscribers that are getting into a little bit of trouble at the moment trying to use things like the Arduino program. Now the Arduino program is something that we use an awful lot when you're building a model. If you're using any kind of multi wii based controller then you'll be using it to compile and update the firmware but it's amazing how often we get this software out to do things like configure on screen displays and other equipment that you're connecting to your RC model. One of the things that's starting to happen a lot on the channel is I'm getting the same question over and over again, so I thought it would be worthwhile doing this video to explain what's going on. If you go to download the latest version of the Arduino code, and usually downloading the latest version is absolutely the best thing to do, you'll come onto the website, it's arduino.cc, I'm not going to put a link to this, if you just Google Arduino download you'll find this site at the top of the list, and to download it we will get version 1.6.5 right now uh, but if you scroll down it still allows you to download previous releases of the software and that is what I want to talk about in this video. So on this computer I'm actually running two versions of the Arduino stuff one is 1.05 the other one is 1.6 and we have a little sketch in here which is the KV Team OSD software that's actually used to create um, an on-screen display with things like Arduino and things like the NASA. So what I'm going to do is just show you the kind of things that happen. I'm going to use exactly the same sketch in both versions. First of all, we'll try it in the later version of Arduino. So this is 1.6.0. So I'm going to say File, Open. Just going to navigate onto the desktop. We'll pick KV Team 2.3. We'll go into the directories, pick the OSD, click OK. And there's the sketch. So we've up uploaded it. It all looks good so far. It isn't giving us any errors or anything. But what I'm going to do is click on this little tick which says verify the sketch. So I'm going to ask the Arduino program to compile the code but not start to upload it. This is just to confirm that there aren't any problems in this Arduino sketch that we've actually got here. And as you can see, it's giving us an error message. It's giving us all these weird and wacky stuff saying our item table and all kinds of wackiness. Now, if I close that down, if I then open the older version, which is the one that I tend to use most often, 1.0.5, if I open exactly the same sketch, there it is. What I'll do is I'll verify it in this earlier version, 1.0.5. And there we are, we can see it's done absolutely fine. So we have no errors, we have no problems, it's actually ready to rock and roll. So this is what I want to show you, is that sometimes when you're trying to update and create files and firmware to upload onto your devices and you're having a problem, sometimes it's because the sketch that you're actually looking at has been written a while ago and some of the changes that have been made to the Arduino program itself have meant that the sketch will not compile and because the sketch hasn't been updated to take advantage of those changes and improvements in the Arduino interface it isn't going to work. So I would say if you are having problems compiling anything in Arduino I would go back to the Arduino main page don't download the very latest and greatest version just scroll down a little bit find the download the previous releases and I would get hold of one of these because these will work a little bit better and hopefully give you a better experience than the latest and greatest. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.